We live in a modern world. We enjoy the comfort of progress and test the limits of our capability now and again. We can reach any place in the world within a short time. We could even fly to the moon and back. Progress, however, is also a challenge. A challenge to find new ways of protection against newly emerging dangers. Statistics show that four to five thousand people are killed in high-rise buildings every year. And that is because they simply cannot escape. EVEST is an emergency system which um, enables the person to make a very fast escape of a high-rise building, which can be used by not trained people, very slow speed, so it's no harm, it flies five to ten kilometers per hour, which is basically walking speed, which uh, brings the person away from the danger zone. For landing, it doesn't require anything. It, you sit on a big bubble of air, basically, like a, comparable to an airbag in a car. And it's, it's very soft and simple. It's the fastest way to escape a high-rise building if you have to, especially in case of fire. Just leave the building via a window or balcony, and the escape vest will save your life. In case of emergency, all you do, you get this briefcase, pull on this handle and then uh, it automatically uh, opens and uh, we found that it requires only 15 to 35 seconds for an untrained person to actually be ready to leave the building. The glider will automatically deploy and it will on its own fly away from the building and away from the emergency situation. It's very simple, nothing really can happen, it's very stable but there's a handle for left or right turn and for landing there's no technique required. It lands on its own, you land on a big bubble of air on this airbag and with uh, reinforced material it's very strong and the landing is very soft. After a short fall the glider opens automatically and flies you away from the building. At the same time the airbag system automatically gets activated and builds up a big protection shield around your body. While you would be in inherent danger still being in the building, EVEST flies you away safely. Simple steering techniques allows you to determine your glide path. With slow speed of 5 to 10 kilometers per hour, you glide toward the ground. The landing is soft and the person is protected. In the following sequence, we can see how the actual function of the EVES system would work in case of emergency. Due to smoke and fire, the stairways and elevators are blocked. You open the cupboard, take out the EVEST, and in a very short time, the EVEST is put on and ready to use. Now there is nothing else left to do than escape through the window. The e-vest is patented in several countries worldwide and has been shown on many major TV stations, newspapers and magazines worldwide. It proved to be the best and safest system on the market today and is easily self-installed in every location in a high-rise building from the 15th floor upwards. Nobody can prevent accidents in high-rise buildings, but with e-vest your safety is greatly improved. For example, in case of a fire in a hallway, you may be trapped in the building with no other way to escape than with e-vest. Time is short. Poisonous smoke fumes will soon knock you out, while fire and heat is getting closer. With the e-vest, you can escape to safety in less than one minute. In all cases, the e-vest is the only chance to survive a scenario like this. Fire stairs cannot be reached. Fire ladders only reach the 15th floor. Being rescued by helicopter very often is impossible and normally takes far too long. EVEST is the only system which gives you complete safety when staying in a high-rise building.
Marcus Willinger, head of the Austrian Technical and Safety Committee for hang gliding and paragliding, has been an expert designer of parachute safety equipment for over 25 years. Together with his team, he has developed a unique rescue system which enhances the safety of being in high-rise buildings dramatically. In the very beginning, in the fall of 2001, the team started designing the first prototypes of eVest. Uh, the development time for the system took nearly a year. We did uh, extensive tests of uh, the glider, the opening system, the airbag system. It was quite hard because it's new terrain to actually get it uh, uh, working properly in this difficult scenario, like uh, in a building in between streets combined with uh, heat and stuff. We tested it in different cities, different locations. The deployment system, as well as the stability and glide performance of the eVest, was started to be evaluated in the first design stage. Numerous unmanned tests from cranes and bridges were undertaken. The minimum safety altitude of the glider turned out to be the 12th floor. The highest fire ladders in the world only reached the 15th floor. Above that, there has been basically no working emergency rescue system existing till now. During the first production process, the deployment system and the glider were being optimized continually. Special ways of controlling the deployment of the glider were found. For the proper function, a unique technique of folding and packing of the glider and airbag into the container is required. Another part in designing the e-vest was developing the airbag system. This time, a test pilot launched the glider. After a long series of unmanned tests, people tested the system. Furthermore, the airbag system was attached to the system to work together in the right way. E-Vest was dropped from planes, paragliders, bridges, walls and finally buildings. To define the stability of the glider itself, we also did a lot of in-flight testing in different weather conditions. We tested it in wind speeds up to over 30 kilometers per hour. We had it uh, uh, let it crash into walls to see what happens and uh, the glider stays very stable even in these conditions. We tested according to parachute standards and all the materials which are used are aviation quality materials. Even when put to the test under extreme conditions in strong winds, the glider remained stable and intact without any pilot input. Together with professional fire experts, the system was optimized for escapes and use under various emergency scenarios like fire, smoke fumes and so on. Finally, people tested the system from high-rise buildings. Well, I hope you never need it, but just like every house has a fire extinguisher, every room in a high-rise building should have an e-vest. For example, in case of fire in the hallway, on the floor you are staying, you may be trapped in a high-rise building with no other way to escape than through a window or balcony and then by air. Time is short. Poisonous smoke fumes may make you unconscious very soon. Fire and heat is coming closer. With e-vest, you can escape to safety in less than one minute. Actually, there is no other way than e-vest. The eVest system can be easily installed by yourself. Just follow the steps in the video and read the chapters in the manual. The eVest rescue system is a complete set. 
delivered by parcel service and contains all the necessary items for adapting it to your environment. Open the box and take out the kit and the installation service manual first. Then take out the EVEST rescue case. Before you start installing, please read the first chapter of the manual. Find a good location where the system should be stored and for the exit point according to the manual in chapter 1. Depending on the place where the static line gets fixed, you need a drill and the appropriate drill bit to make a strong connection. See Owner's Manual, Chapter 2. Test the strength of the connection with the supplied testing device. Attach one end of the static line to the carabiner. Now determine the length of the static line according to the Owner's Manual and attach the other end to the metal link on the EVEST system. Secure it safely with the tool provided. Chapter 4. Roll up the static line and put the e-vest into the storage place you have chosen. Chapter 5 in the manual. Chapter 5 to 10 explains how to use the e-vest. The e-vest is put on like a backpack and secured with the two metal links as shown. In case of emergency, put it on and escape through the exit point you have chosen, which can be a window or a balcony. After you leave the building, the e-vest will open automatically and fly you away from the building. At the same time, an airbag will open underneath you. You can steer it by pulling the right handle for a right turn and the left handle for a left turn. However, the e-vest glider works automatically and does not require any user input to fly down safely.